Yo, what's up, Coach Dot? Out here with your introduction video. Uh, if you see this, you remember the Highland Huskies. Welcome. This is gonna be a great season. We're kind of an underrated team. So I'm just I'm just gonna give you guys some like basics on like how I'm gonna run things here. And just some like tips that you need when you're like first getting started. Probably that your OCFA coach hasn't really like told you like what to do. So um, I'm just gonna go like position by position. I gotta make this quick. I'm kind of rushed for time here. Uh, I'm helped with Izzy. Say hi, Izzy. Yeah, what's good, yo? All right, Izzy's gonna help Goddamn me with lethal. some. Wow, Izzy's gonna help me with Damn. some shit. And um, I'm the goddamn best player on the goddamn team. Remember that. He's okay. a bench warmer, but all right. So. First things first, I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm playing receiver here. There's some there's some basic tips that I want that I want you guys to to kind of know. Um, first of all, what I how I run my offense is I have two mid receivers, so it's gonna be center here, mid wide receiver and mid wide receiver. Though I do this because um, teams have linebackers now in nine v nine, and the and the only way to like counter them is just have a guy like hit them once or twice. So with that. I'm only gonna have maybe I'm gonna have a slot and an outside and then just an outside and the left. So here's what we do. Um, first tip number one: when you're releasing off the line, you have to be fast, right? Like in, in scrim, you see hike or you see or actually no, like look for the ball. You see that ball move? I need you to be first because the way you're gonna beat your CB is you're gonna have that split second advantage that's gonna like help you get by him. So like I'm on offense, so I have an advantage, right? Like I see hike in the team chat. But you see that ball move, and you got to be the first one. Um, rule number two, never go outside. This sideline is a defender. It's only there to help the defense. Like, all right, let's say let's say ball's hiked, right? So one, two, three, hike. Where am I going to go? He's blocking me off to go to get to the rest of the field. Sideline, if I touch this, I'm ineligible. Like, where am I supposed to go? You have no, There's no reason for you guys to be going outside unless you have, like, a planned out route. Let's say you're the slot. You want to pick for the guy running a comeback over here that works i don't really care just like i'd prefer if you'd like tell me beforehand so like i know what's going on because those are like quick quick throw type stuff but if you're not doing like an out route or a comeback there's no real reason you want to have the whole field to work with you go inside you have this entire space look how much space there is i'm zoomed out look how much you can you have that whole like area to work with you can like split you can come back oh my god my screen just turned off yo what the fuck is he what my screen just okay i'm good now <laughs> Dude, it just turned off <laughs> all right so that's tip number two is you go you got to go inside you got to have a fast release um i'm gonna teach you guys something it's borderline illegal but the thing is dude like like no one cares bro like like it is not called it's it's actually like a it's a form of a double jump all right it's e in space it's called the scoop dive i asked mallard if it was legal he said yes but mallard is kind of biased to that like he he thinks it should be but clutch he's the the head of the ref department he thinks it's not so it honestly dude you could do this the whole game and it'll be fine but it just depends on the ref you have so like let's say you do it the first play of the game and the ref's like that's illegal then don't do it but like maybe the next game you do it and he doesn't call it then go ahead like it just depends on the ref just don't get ejected don't be stupid so what you need to do is you just you just have to touch the ground for it to be legal if you just yeah like what is he did that's illegal because he didn't even touch the ground he just did this that's a double jump so if you touch the ground let's say i'm running i'm going to the right side i just do a little quick cut and i get that extra space because this dive this dive gives you gives you the most separation it's like proven like this dive just just gives you that extra like step that you need to like you know, maybe like you need that one more like pixel to like avoid a jam. Like this dive's gonna get it done, and like all these tips combined, like that this quick release, the inside, like the 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 dive, like these are all like little things that like you might need. Like you might need that one inch. You know, it's either a touchdown or incompletion. You're gonna like you have to be on your toes like every play. Cause I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro. We're not elite. Like this team is not elite. I'm a rookie head coach. We we're playing teams like I don't even know my schedule's like Punishers, that's uh, Punishers, Andy yeah. Kilmanges. We we play MLB Shifts. We play the Blizzard. Like Blizzard. we're an underdog, dude. So you guys have to be you guys have to be ready to work. You guys have to take what I'm like telling you and like use it because all these other vets like they already know like they know what's going on. So you guys have we, we all of us as a team like me me too like we all have to upper game up so we can compete. Um, another tip. At receiver is oh yeah Th all right so if you if you bind your stand the q i just call it the q spam 
like let's say I release middle, right? If I just spam Q, look how little my bar is going down. I'm still at what 80 percent. If I just spam Q, I'm still like I'm still like able to use it. Say so my bar is still above half. You guys see that? But like. So what that does, it just gives you that little extra advantage. Like all these tips are just giving you like a little more advantage. So if you spam Q, you're gonna have an extra step. And your stand bar, look at my stand bar, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously that's kind of an obvious tip. If you guys didn't know, like don't burn all your sand at the start. It actually helps if you have half bar or more at the end of the play. So like, let's say I'm trapped in a corner, you can run a comeback route, burn your stand, and I'll be, I'll be able to throw you the ball. I know you guys want the ball, so. Um, another thing, I know I'm talking kind of fast, but like if you you can slow it down if you want, or whatever. But another thing is that when you're playing receiver, don't like try to force your picks, right? So like I want you guys to go middle. I, I want you maybe one dude sits here for a screen, one dude goes deep. Be unpredictable, but and don't try to force picks, because I know like I I love it when you guys pick, like it's great, but that only happens when you cross your routes. And it happens naturally. Like you just don't naturally, force it. Yeah, no yeah force. don't don't force it. It just looks <laughs> stupid. And um, another thing with picks, I don't. Some of you guys actually don't know this. So Izzy, Izzy, you're the other receiver, right? Let's okay. say go go on the twenty, the other tw like the number twenty. All right, I'm gonna call hike right here. Izzy's the uh, my other receiver, right? So me and him are gonna cross right here. Come here, Izzy. What happens? So Izzy, go to the right here. This is not a pick. This is not a pick. Yeah. You're, all you're doing is causing a switch. This is easy to guard and it's not helping. So let's say we're crossing here. Izzy, go to the left and turn your body like pick for me. See, Izzy's going to pick for me and he's going to take both yeah. CBs out of play and then I'm open. See, if you guys switch, it's like a low percentage like of success. Like it might work because if they're like really bad. But if we like go the same direction now, like I quick cut out and then Izzy's got my back here. Izzy's going to get the CBs. I'm going to have a wide open catch and I can run up the field. And he's going to be my blocker. So like, I mean, I'm saying like, don't like force the pick, but when that happens, you have to be aware that picks happen when you like go to the same side. It's not when you cross, you cross to get to the pick. And then when the pick happens, you go to the same side. You actually have to do it. Yeah. You have to pick. Yeah. You have to go to the same side. Um, I think that's it for receiver. But if you guys like want to get some individual stuff, I did a training today. So like just DM me. Um, next thing, TE. Like, dude, a bunch of a bunch of being successful at these positions is um, just being, like, having a good release. You see that ball move? You need to be out here and ready for that DE. So, like, if you have the first step, it's really all just comes down to if you have that first, that first second. Because you, you can basically control the play. Like, if it's a right hike, you see that ball move, you get out here, there's no way he's getting by you. There's no way. And uh, another thing I see a lot of TEs do, which doesn't really make any sense, they're, they're going to get burned, right? Like, if I'm playing here... I, I maybe I, maybe I'm too slow. Izzy gets by me. Next play, I'll do the exact same thing. It just doesn't make sense. You guys have to adjust. Like I get burned, maybe I'll take two steps back. Maybe I watch the ball a little better this time. You guys have to adjust, dude. Like you can't you can't just keep getting burned the same way over and over and over. You have to adjust. Like maybe he's still burning me. Take two more steps back. There's nothing wrong with taking a little bit extra step back so you're able to react. Um, that's really all I have for, for TE because I'm not really a TE, but like that's still important. DE is the same thing. You got to be the first one outside. Um, when you're at DE, I don't want you guys going for sacks really, dude. Like we're going to, if you guys just contain, you get that first outside jump, you push off, save that stamina, you will get sacks. Like I promise the sacks are going to come. Like don't try to get them on your stat sheet because they're going to happen. I, all I want you to do is contain. Keep the QB between you and the other DE, and you guys are going to be fine. You just have to contain. Work on your hurdles and angles and stuff, you know, all that. I'll, I'll help you guys with that. But, um, yeah, just contain. Don't try to force sacks. I, I don't want that. Um, if you want to pad your stat sheet, that's really stupid because, you know, no one really cares, honestly. Like, they're just going to watch you play and be like, why is this DE so aggressive? They're, they're going to make fun of you for it. You maybe you might get one sack, but you're gonna get burned all game. That's not what you want. You wanna be consistent. So um, first step at DE, containing, maybe like work on your angles. What you're trying to do at DE is push off. So like your TE is lined up a certain way. You're pushing off the other way. Don't line up the same way he is. You line up the exact opposite. So if Izzy, Izzy, like turn your body like this, like like I do. I'm gonna push off this way. So I can get around like that. Like I'm not gonna just push this way because he can lock me. He can lock me into this position, and I it's hard for me to get out. So 
Um, that's D-E-T-E, -E, center. I really, I have a center, so I don't think I'm drafting any. But if you are, let Solid help you. Solid's a great center. Um, short, I have some tips for. In 9v9, there is no press short, right? Like, this kind of, like, kind of went away after the 8v8 era. So I want you guys about five yards back. Um, this just allows you, because of this the new hitbox and stuff, um, you're going to have, like, it's way easier to just get toasted, like, right off the snap. So you need to be five off. Balls hiked. You just be ba just backpedal. Read what he's doing. You know, if he wants to go inside, he's gonna go inside if he's a good receiver. So just be ready for that. Angle your body. Be ready for that. You know, try to try to keep him to the outside if you can. Just don't get burned off the line. That it just when you get burned off the line as a short, it kind of ruins the whole play because the deep has to pick up and then you have to pick up the deep guy and it just messes everything up. And everyone gets confused and that's how touchdowns happen. So that's it's a simple thing. You just don't press. If you don't press, we'll be fine. Um, that's really it for shorts. Just, yeah, just keep them outside. You're, you know they're going to try to in go inside. Like, they're a good receiver. They want they want to use the whole field. So so be ready for that. Like, hit them out here. Keep them to the sideline. Um, FS deep. Uh, if you're an FS or a deep and I draft you, I'm going to be help working with you individually. But something I want to tell you now is that I'm going to be going short. So, like, if, if there's, like, a slot on your side, that's probably going to be your guy. And if there's a dude who like who runs like a comeback, I'm gonna be the one dropping. Like it shouldn't be you. But we're gonna work on that later. Like like one on one in scrims. Like you guys will know what I'm saying. It's kinda hard because it's just me and Izzy right now. But uh linebackers, I don't really I'm gonna make like a little like a little sheet on paint.net, like with the formation. But right now I want Izzy line up to the right of me. So I want you guys inside the hashes because I don't want the QB to run mid. We're gonna play some running teams. I think we play Saxon and they they run a lot, so yeah. I want you guys to be like this, so in case they run mid, me and Izzy can just jump that. Or if they run my side, I'll just be ready for that. DE's right here as well. So the reason, yeah, I'm, I want you to line up like this because of the run. But also, if it's not a run, you just have to you have to make that decision quick. So like, run or no run? Okay, it's not a run. What I want you to do is work on that TE, get him off that DE, and I want you to cover him. Now the biggest thing I see linebackers do on this, they're gonna pick that they're gonna pick that TE off, right? And then they're gonna push him forward because my body's still like this. They're like, is he like, I'm all right, play TE real quick. Just pretend there's a DE, so hike. I'm gonna do this, right? I'm gonna pick you off and then run around. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna push you forward like that. That's that, yeah. that just, you just get toasted. But like, burn, yeah. So all you need, you just need to get one or two hits and then you automatically turn. You gotta be ready. So all I want is a little separation. I want the DE to get like a step on the TE. And then I need you to turn because you don't want to you don't want to push him forward. That's helping him. You're trying to hurt him because he wants to go this way. You're not trying to help him out. You're only doing that so the DE can rush. But as soon as as soon as you've done that, you have to turn. Um, another thing at linebacker in the red zone. Actually, I'm gonna flip this. But in the red zone, we're gonna play zone, right? So what this means is that you can you can um if your TE is double blocking i want you to rush because you don't obviously you don't want a 3v2 center qb and te versus two de's we're gonna get killed so if your te is blocking i want you to rush if your t is not blocking you're kind of be you're kind of gonna be that guy who hovers i don't want you on air okay but i want you like i want you hovering in an area where they're like they might cut to so if, they, if they've been looking at the corners i want you hovering that area you just have to like count all right all right, let me like rephrase that. I just want you to count, bro. Like if you see three, if you see three receivers and there's a short and a deep, that should be you. You should be over there helping. It's all about the numbers, bro. So if you're if your TE is blocking, that's kind of easy. Like you don't really have to think that much. But if you're that other linebacker, you have to have you have to have pretty high IQ. Like you have to you have to be able to see like where they're trying to expose us. Are they just exposing us middle? You got to be helping the FS left side, right side. You got to be helping. So you're that like help guy. Um. Yeah, linebackers are pretty high IQ. I'd say you have to have one of the highest IQs, but it's, you're gonna, you might not be the best at the start, but you're gonna learn what I'm saying. I mean, when it's only when it's in the red zone, it's pretty hard. But honestly, red zone defense is easy since it's nine ninety nine. So you know, there's a hella commotion, hella crowding. So you guys won't have that much of a problem. Um, sure, I covered. LB, I covered. Is he? Did I miss anything? Um. No, except um, for when you're playing tight end, and if your linebacker is like picking you, bro, like make sure you tell 
the mid wide receiver. Make sure you communicate and tell somebody, bro. So yeah, that we don't know. just let yourself get picked. Just like be get like, picked, yo, bro. I'm getting Every picked. Every single goddamn play. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So uh, you just have, you have to communicate. I prefer, um, if you guys like, you guys are start developing like chem on offense. I want you to like make plays. Like I want that. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna be making my own plays. But if you wanna like get creative, maybe send me some with the teammate. Like I'm always down if you guys wanna put like extra work in to like try to think of a play. Cause I mean I think all the best teams have plays. So if we wanna compete at a high level, then we're gonna need our own set of plays. So I think there's a sum that I wanna get to you guys in practice. But um I think that covers everything. If you're already on the team and you're seeing this, uh, I think it's going to be a great season. If I just drafted you, welcome. Uh, I hope you learn a lot this season. I don't know if you're going to play that much, but I really want you guys to like improve as players so like next season you, you can be ready to like take that starting job. So I'm going to end the video here. If you have any questions, just DM me. And um, thanks for listening.